Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. And I have to my left, Mr. Renee Jr. Praise God. Welcome. Amen. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And happy Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, tell somebody the life of the word is on. Like and subscribe to it. Amen. Yes. We've been talking about walking the wisdom of God. Now, we're going to talk about um, mm -hmm. walking the wisdom of God with your money. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to um, Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruit from all your crops. Now, most of us, we don't honor God with the first fruit, maybe the second fruit. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. We, we honor God, you know, with the second fruit on which, which from the government took from the first fruit. So we're giving God from the second fruit. Nobody hear me. Amen. Amen. And what is honor? Respect. Putting God first. Amen. Amen. So Amen. honor is not um, just, just in one expect. Honor can be done with your time, with your money, possession, uh, possession and things you own. So honor God with what? With your wealth and the first fruit from your crops. So if it's not the first fruit from your crops, it's not honor. Mm -hmm. no, nobody can understand that. Exactly. If it's not the first fruit from your crop, it is not honor. So somebody will say, I tithe from the net. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're supposed to tithe from what? The, the gross. The gross. Mm -hmm. So the net is not first fruit. Right. Yeah. What, <laughs> it, it, because because um, it's just the government took out. Mm -hmm. So it's not your first fruit. Your first fruit is the gross income. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you don't pay from, the, um, well, let's give an example, right? You get a $1,000 paycheck. They take out $800, you know, $200. So now your, your um, net is $800. Right. So you don't tie $80 from the $800. Right. You tie from the $1,000. Right. That's first fruit. Right. So if you tie from the net, which is 800, that's not honor. Yes. Right. Correct. Amen. 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 You're not going to get much amen from that, but amen. 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 So now, when we come to God, we bring a dishonorable first fruit. Mm -hmm. And we're saying, God, bless the dishonor, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have dishonored you. Blessed, it. <laughs> God have mercy. Yeah. It's uh, true. The whole, the whole body of Christ is trembling. <laughs> Where well, you find this guy from? <laughs> it's like, hey, it's the Bible. So we asking God to bless this honor, and we wonder where, where, how come our monies are suffering? Because it, it has become dishonorable seed instead of seed of honor. That why is it this honor? Because you have honored the system above the person who created all life. So it's no longer honor. It is what? Dishonor. 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 Okay, help me here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Help me here. Now, then he said, then your bonds will be full. Now, some people say, well, I, I tie from the net. Why my bond not full? Because you, because tithing from the net is dishonor. So now you are exempt from bonds being full. Oh boy, you are exempt from bonds being full because you didn't meet the requirement for bonds to be full. Praise God. Because hmm? God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should repent. If he said it, sure. it will surely come to pass. Yes. It will what? Come to pass. Surely. Sure. Sure. Come to pass. Yes. Right? And then he says, then your body will be healthy. Hold up. So, respecting God and the affairs of my money and my wealth and my possession affects my body. 
because there's a blessing attached to the honor, not the money. It is what it represents to God. Oh, nobody here. Yes. Well, you know, I'm not going to have enough to pay. No, you don't trust God. Remember, we were right here. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Yes. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Yes. Because there's some things God... See, you don't have enough money to take care of what you got anyway. But there is a blessing and honor when I do what God tell me to do. When I do what? Honor the Lord with my wealth. Obedience have an added blessing. Nobody hear me. Amen. So this honor leads to empty bonds and broken bodies. That's good. That's good. Weak bones. Oh, I broke my ankle. What did you uh, honor him? Oh, nobody. <laughs> Look, I'm not off the Bible here. Very possible. He said your bones will be what? Weak. Weak. Huh? He says it will be what? Weak. And what was it? Eight, right? Then he said, then your body will be healthy and your bones will be strong. So the opposite of strong, if you do it, is what? Weak. Oh, I broke my hand. I broke my ankle because it's weak. And, and it all leads to the dishonor of the wealth. I know we don't want to hear things like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in the Bible. Yeah. Straight in the Bible right there. Straight in the Bible. Not my opinion. It's right there. Right? Honor the Lord, and it says it again, right? Um, honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruit from all your crops. So that means that whatever I get from income tax, oh no, just said that word. Whatever I get from income tax, Buki gave me $2,000, you tie from first fruit on that. Amen. Somebody bless me. I'm a top fruit. Somebody give me a dollar. I'm gonna give what? One cent? Whatever? Ten cents? You know? I'm gonna give that to God. So it didn't say not only from your job, but any type of resources that come, I show honor. Now, somebody may say, what if I show honor and on my job, but I don't show honor in anywhere else that somebody give me? Is still this honor? It affects everything. Mm -hmm. Honor the Lord. Now look at this. There's the first blessing is this: your bonds will be full, and you're going to have a healthy body and a healthy bones. Now there's a second time. He said it two times. He said that on um, uh, uh, um, on eight, right? Then he said honor again on nine, and then he said if you do that on all your crops. All your crops is everything that comes to your hands. You tithe off that. You give off that. Then he said, then your bonds will be full and your wine barrels will overflow with new wine. Meaning that, so that represents new kind of wealth. Because I'm honorable God on this thing to produce new kind of wealth. Because guess what happened? When I give to God, I got more grapes and I turn it to rind. That's more money. All these things plenty. is equal to plenty. plenty. Having more than you ever have. Amen. Because what? I honor God on that yes. level. Yes. Amen. Nobody hear me. Praise God. I hope you don't understand what we're saying right now. Amen. Well, I pray that that word bless you, bless me. Don't be angry. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive that. In Jesus' name, and God will bless you. And if you've not been honoring God on that level, honor Him in that level. Amen. And then you're going to see the, your bonds full, your bones strong. Amen. Amen. Your bonds full, your bones strong. Um, new wine, new, new um, thing of money coming your way that you never need, you never want, because God is ultimately your supplier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So my name is Manu, um, Pastor Emmanuel Rene. I have with me, Minister Renee Jr. We have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you.